I can make twenty to thirty thousand dollars in thirty minutes or die in five seconds. Everybody's got AKs, they got nine millimeters, everybody's got guns. If you're five hundred feet under the ground, people go to a jewelry store and they see the gemstones. I see something else. I'm Ben, I'm a gemologist and a bush pilot. I go into the remote, hardest to reach parts of the world and I bring out beautiful gemstones. The more remote, the more difficult the spot, the more danger, more money to be made. There's a lot of fortune hunters, but there is no one else in the world that has all of the combined abilities that I've got to do what I do. Fantastic, these are some of the biggest, largest specimens of aquamarine in the world. This is the way the process works. I've got little spy networks all over the world and they'll get the word out to me, hey, Ben, there's this new discovery. There's just been some Alexanderite found over here at this spot here. The secret is, is to get in, be the first one in and the first one out. And when there's a discovery, because of the fact that I am a bush pilot and also a helicopter pilot, I can get back into these places quicker than anyone else. And once there's a new discovery, the race is on. Because the minute the word's out, it's over. Now, when I go down in these holes, we drop at about 30 miles an hour, we drop straight down in this hole. There's only a few guys that, I mean, it takes a select few that have the balls to actually crawl on those, crawl in that and get on that sling and go down in that hole there. And the only way you have to communicate down there is they've got PVC, this black PVC tube that you yell up. So from hundreds of feet below, you're going, okay, bring us up. Eu vou falar com ele agora. Oh. You get a certain air speed up, it's all done with your feet. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. My daughter Mika, she's always wanting to go with me no matter where I go, how dangerous it is, no matter what I say, look, there's like, the more dangerous it is, the more she wants to go. When I was a little girl, my dad would come home and he would tell me about all these crazy and amazing adventures he was doing. And now it's so great because I get to travel and do them with him. That landing you just did was good, okay? You did good. There's room for improvement, but you did good. Now, what you're screwing up at is on your takeoffs. What you need to do is, before you take off, set at the end of this trip and run it up. When Mika and I are, are on our trips, I see dangers that she cannot see. These uh, yellow placards here warn of assaults on the highways, and they mean it. Right now, we've got a uh, we've got an armed escort here. But even those guys who are federal police, they still like to go uh, drive 90 miles an hour through the uh, through this area. They want to get through here as fast as possible. Dangers of my job are people, bad weather when I'm flying, cave-ins and mines, kidnapped, uh, murdered. Sometimes when I'm in the field and at the source, I do think it's a little scary. It's not rare when I'm with my dad to see a group of men with guns, but I generally know that I'm safe because my dad has tipped off the people in the village before. You go down in these holes, and you're making little holes in there, and you're putting these dynamite sacks and popping them off while you're down there and blowing these pieces out as you're down there. It's a difficult business that my dad works in, so yeah, there's a lot of times that I am scared that you know, if he doesn't come out when he's supposed to or he doesn't meet me back at the plane when he's supposed to, it can be really frightening. There's a new danger now in the gym industry that was not there before. People are selling you synthetics now. They're actually worthless. They're worth 50, 60 bucks. And if the stone's real, it might be worth 20, 30 thousand dollars. And that's just what happened. He showed me this stone that would be worth 20, 30 thousand bucks. I'm looking through my microscope and I realize this is synthetic. This guy is trying to rip me off. So then I know, okay, there's a little bit of danger here. So I want to gently backtrack and just tell him, hey, everything looks good, looks cool. I'll get in touch with you later and just kind of ease out of this so there won't be any need to avoid confrontation. My last buy in Brazil, we agreed on $100,000. I'll take my stones and I'll head out and he takes his $100,000 and he goes his way. My dad's been doing this for like 25 years. So when we go into the towns, he has built relationships and we're taken care of. But he's living in a tomb. I have a ring that I plan on making for someone who's requested a stone. Okay. Perfect. Now, do you want me to just, do you want some rough or do you want me to go ahead and have it faceted? No, or? I want it faceted. Jewelers adore me because 
I am the source. And most jewelers, when they buy their stones, it goes through 10 hands. And the few that I work with, they know that it comes straight from the mines. I need to get stones from the source, and Ben is excellent at that. He goes right to the mines. Remember that aquamarine that we picked up in Rio Grande do Norte? This is it. And this is wow. what you call a Peter Norman classic. We just it's made beautiful. the ring. And I love seeing this process of this stone that comes out of the ground and watching this journey that it takes and ends up in the jewelry store, my friend's jewelry store. You're like, mm, you Would you just shut up? I love what I do. I wake up every morning and I am excited and I love going to work.